what's going on YouTube minecraft to go here today I'm gonna be showing you how to install zombies mod pack or as it's more commonly uh, referred to zombies fly mod it comes with um all of these right here all those mods but you, you don't have to have all of them you can select certain ones you want so if you click the first link in the de in the description you'll be uh, brought to this page and you're gonna look for uh, current version is which is right now 4.2.9 for or 1.7.3 just download it and if it comes in a zip just unzip it so now if we go to our finder uh, and under this little uh, house icon library application support minecraft alright so everything except I believe th uh, this right here this is from my uh, too many items mod, so but it it won't show up on this. Is um, so this is how your standard thing will look except for that, like all with all that. If we open up our zombies mod pack v4 or whatever it will be in the future, and classes, and you have all these little dot class files. So now this is where it gets a little confusing. So if you repeat, um, please do if you need it if you need to, bin. Minecraft.jar, right click, open with other. Find this little your hard drive thing, library, um, system, library, core services, archive utility. And it's going to unarchive un -archive it. Uh, right, uh, so you're going to rename this the original, the one with the uh, jar picture. Hold it, hold your left um, mouse down on it and click enter to rename it and just rename it dot old doesn't doesn't have to be caps but there and now rename your minecraft the the folder the one that we got from doing, using archive utility to the dot jar click enter add double click minecraft the your new minecraft dot jar now um, select all these to show and to show you that I'm copying these, copy 21 items, and then you're gonna paste items. Um, apply to all, replace. I believe if you do it singly, it, there should be eight things you do. I'm not sure on that, but there. So now, uh, we click the back arrow on this. We go into our I config. Back out of our Minecraft.jar back out of our bin so we're back in our minecraft folder right click new folder name it mods all lowercase again make a new folder z o m b e has to be spelled exactly like that all lowercase right click or uh, enter the folder now um, copy all these just to show him copying copy 13 items paste items Alright, so we don't need this anymore. We don't need those. So if we double click our config.txt, if it asks you to select a program, just right click open with text edit. Um, so I'll go over a little of these mods. So all these on see, okay. Say I want this um cloud mod enabled, but see right here that has hash marked. All I have to do is delete that hash mark because all these mods will be um, dormant. I guess is the correct term because if there if this like where it says the type uh, uh, where under it says uncomment to enable mod uh, and it'll be the one directly under it. Just delete that and now the mod's enabled. But I don't we don't want I don't want the cloud mod because I find it kind of useless. The cart mod um, build mod like kind of like classic minecraft building so it's got a bunch of stuff under there compass mod and now our fly mod so we I want to actually on hash mark this backspace yes um so you don't want to change let me unzoom cuz this can so right here it says turn fly mode on key fly on equals uh turns fly mode off Key fly off. You don't want those because you just want the toggle. 
I usually make that F and I change my fog to M. Key fly up, E. I, I kept that I kept these the same. And cause I, I just moved my regular Minecraft uh controls, like my drop to Z and all that. My uh what do you call it? Crouching to tab. Speed modifier key. Um I, I kept that left shift, but you can change the, you can change these to whatever you want. But um yeah. Running speed modifier key, I kept that left shift. And now uh running speed mod um you don't really need to worry about that one. You don't need to uh, no worry about no clue. Okay, so here is where you do your uh, speed adjustments. So I'll go over each one. Running speed multiplier uh, with speed multi uh, modifier. So this is your, I believe this is when you're flying, and this is how fast you go when you're holding uh, your shift or whatever you have that to. That's 1.5. Vertical, this is how high you go up. I usually, like, don't make these all, like, 10 or, one, like, this one to 1. Cause you, it's gonna be so hard. I did. I kept them at the normal settings. Cause it's like it makes it a lot faster to build and all. Um, movement speed mod uh, modifier. Just make that one. Uh, it's gonna be flying around the map, just like when you're walking, I think. And um, movement speed. Mo uh, this is like when you have your speed modifier. This one, mult with another one. What what set to? I I believe, and that will be four. It's like. Really, you just kind of—I think you just need to focus on these two. Just how much you go fast with the shift, and how fast you want to go up and down. There's no shift for up and down. So if you want to say when it's flying, if you don't like the flying, you can just delete that. But I'm just going to keep that flying. Save. Close out. Close out of uh, Finder. And now, when we open up Minecraft, <laughs> log in. Hello, Minecraft. Are you there? And yeah, okay, if you get a black screen, because many people get the black screen, all right. What you need to do is just reinstall the mod. You might have an outdated mod or uh, <clears throat> uh, like outdated. You might have a t if you kept yours at like 1.6, which I don't know why you, you would. Um, then and you install 1.7 mod. I don't believe it'll work, and that'll cause a black screen. Or if you're th this it goes for the same if you're stuck at a at at a loading screen. Um or yeah, so if you have any of those mods just delete or right. so many people get confused and they think they have to rebuy Minecraft. That is not true. Just go to library, application support, Minecraft, and just drag and drop your bin to the trash can while Minecraft is closed. So now we go into a single player. Okay, I'm kind of excited because I want to show you guys this map. Um, Alright, there. I'm flying. Oh, it's a magical. It's a magical feeling. I'm flying, Ma. I'm flying. And, um, so I guess I'll give you a little overview of this map. Hopefully you can see. Um, here, if there is, um, place, this is, again, this is unfinished, or... I didn't say that, but it's uh, it's unfinished. Um, so here, press this button to call a cart. Hmm. I want to go somewhere. Let's go somewhere. I call a cart. Get some lag. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. Get some lag because there's so much redstone down there. And we get in. And we are off. Wee! Look at us. All right, that was pretty cool. But now. If this happens when we call a cart and we actually uh, miss our cart, that won't be too good if we miss our cart, because then it will just go into the next station. We don't want that. It's going to come down this way. And is it? Is it? Oh no, it's not going up. So I won't bore you guys uh, too much with this. If you would like to see how I made this, um, please just let me know in the comments, because I won't make two videos in one that'll be a little boring uh thank you for watching youtube subscribe if this helped you hopefully my too many items mod will, c will be uh coming up soon uh thank you for watching